good morning. I think somebody is later because of the rain. You know, they just uh, come from very far campus. Okay. So uh, this morning I will talk about uh, you know different data source, but on the same topic on the root traffic mortality change in China. Okay. Uh, oh. Us know that uh, root traffic injury prevention has list as a sustainable development goals uh, by the United Nations. Also in China, the central government uh, uh, has included it as a target of China, uh, Health China 2030. <coughs> so a few global health initiative uh, and international organizations regularly release pro uh, progress reports on the SDGs, <coughs> of including you know, the research group by GB, uh, GBD and uh, United Nations and WHO, and also the Sustainable Development Solution Network and the World Bank. Uh, however, none of these reports explore you know, the details of progress for the traffic SDG safety goals in China. Uh, as the most uh, populous countries in the world, uh, China suffered nearly, this is GBD's estimates, uh, 26, uh, uh, no, uh, <coughs> 260, uh, 2,000 road traffic deaths in 2017, according to about 24% uh, uh, of global road traffic deaths. The proportion is much disproportionate to the you know, economic development speed and other contribution uh, of Ch by China. <coughs> China's progress has a big impact on the achievement of global road traffic uh, safety and uh, detailed analysis of recent patterns, mechanisms, and trends would be very valuable for policy making and the implementation of road traffic safety interventions. Uh, in the last, I think, three decades, the government invests a lot, uh, a lot you know, money in transport uh, infrastructure, including you know, roads and other uh, safety controls. And also, we have more and more uh, long distance travel for more culture cars. Uh, also uh, recently, I think in the last 10 years, the express trains uh, have played more and more uh, roles in transporting uh, people's from city A to city B. <coughs> okay. Also, the central government uh, revised its legislations and implement uh, public education program to raise the uh, vehicle safety awareness and practice. Uh, at the same time, so from the health department, uh, you know, the trauma system and the pre-hospital service have been improved. Uh, yesterday, Professor Wang's report focused on policy report data, but uh, such data have clearly and serious bias for underreporting. So uh, later this morning or this afternoon, will, uh, my, my colleague at CSA will report why you know the big gaps between policy report data and health department data. So I don't want to say this here. So, GBD study reports the general estimates of the traffic mortality, but they lack the subnational details. <coughs> uh, a few studies focus on you know a single Chinese city or specific age group. So, uh, to summarize, the published study is incomplete and cannot uh, represent the national level uh, traffic mortality. So in this study, we use the national surveillance data 
uh, to examine Chinese, uh, China's progress from 2006 to 2016 in road traffic injury mortality and also the mortality difference by sex age group for rural and urban uh, and province and road user. So this is a population based longitudinal analysis, the data from the nationally representative uh, national disease surveillance uh, point system. It uh, is a sample based system that collects uh, national data. It started very early in 19, uh, I think 1990 is early. <coughs> okay. A very simple uh, statistical analysis, including we use age adjusted mortality uh, and we use young point, young point regression to identify you know, time periods showing a significant decrease or increase. We also use the negative binomial regression to estimate the difference across sex, age group, and place of time. Uh, we also plot maps to illustrate geographic variations. We calculate the percent change in mortality to quantify the change between the 2014 and 2016. I want to emphasize here only start uh, from 2014. So the DSP could provide the uh, provincially representative the data. Before that, uh, we cannot do that. So here is the key results. Uh, the left is, OK. The red line is the crude mortality. The blue is age. Just mortality, we could see the general and the constant change patterns. Uh, but uh, we must notice the, change, the trend is different, uh, differs from that of, uh, by policy report data. Only uh, from I think should be 2010 or 2011, the mortality start to decrease. It, Ten years later, that uh, for policy report data for the rural uh, and urban areas, so they generally follow a similar changing patterns, but rural areas have much higher mortality rates than <coughs> than urban areas. Males had higher mortality than females. Uh, but for the age group analysis, it's different. We could see, you know, uh, the red, uh, the blue and the red, this should be the uh, children. I think it should be the children. And this for adults, and this for the older adults. It's different. We could see. For children, it's flattened after 2004. 12, but for you know adults and also for older adults, they start to decrease and generally dominate the trend for the uh, whole age groups. Here is a geographic uh, distribution. So we could see this: uh, the left is 2014. The red, more red, means you know the mortality. Uh, is higher, so and the yellow is lower. So the green, the uh, bl blank means no data. So we we could see in this area, this middle Hun I think uh, Hunan should be here. Oh, okay, this is so we are here. So uh, this is Hubei province, Henan province, uh, Anhui province, and the Zhejiang province and the Shandong province. This is Yunnan and province and uh, Guangxi province. This is Xinjiang, uh, Tibet, and Qinghai. Okay. So if we look at uh, two years later, 2016, we found that generally the rate decreased in most provinces. But so uh, the high rate areas still focus on this. So we need to think of uh, uh, why. 
So if we calculate the percent change in mortality uh, between the 2014 and 2016, we find that the blue means, you know, decrease, and the red means increase. So we see, okay, also uh, only for uh, Shanxi, Shanxi province is increased, and for Xinjiang and Guangxi and Hubei and Jiangxi, uh, Jiangsu, Jiangsu province and Liaoning, so it increased a little, but for other provinces, decreased. Okay. If we look at a subgroup analysis by road users, uh, this is for all eight group. Uh, we could see pedestrians uh, account for the most percentage uh, for all years. Uh, okay. This is for the under five children. So pedestrian and uh, also as occupant uh, is the most common vulnerable road users. Uh, for children five to 14 years old, uh, it have a similar, uh, you know, pattern uh, by the user. But for 15 to uh, 29, we find, you know, most cyclists account to a large uh, percentage. The different is, you know, uh, for the middle age group, we find, you know, also motorcyclists and pedestrian. Uh, this is for 45 and uh, 59. We find the proportion uh, of pedestrian account to over about, I think, 50%. But we find the increase in motorcyclists and also pedocyclists, uh, a little, I mean, obviously for motorcyclists. For all the age group, Especially for the 60 to 69, we also find you know, pedestrian and uh, motorcyclist uh, as a two leading cause, uh, two leading road users of the traffic mortality. But for the oldest age group, so the pedestrian account to I think should be 70 percentage of all mortality. Uh, this is uh, an as subgroup analysis by uh, urban and rural. So the pattern is generally similar, uh, but the rate in rural area uh, is higher than that in urban area. Males have you know, much higher rate than females. Uh, it's similarly the proportion of most cyclists, uh, the percentage in males is much higher than that in females. I think that means you know, the exposure. So m many males ride more cyclists than females. So this is very interesting for all occupants. So we find for, so this is a car occupant. That means private car. So we, we see for all occupants, this account for more than 50 percentage. That means, uh, you know, seabed use probably. This uh, for urban area and for rural area, they have a similar, you know, patterns by the use uh, by different uh, type of uh, you know transportation bus and also car uh, occupant. Uh, for males and females, so it seems that also the car occupant account to the you know the the most common uh, transportation uh, ways. Okay, I summarize the key, key findings. Over, overall, it adjusted standardized road mortality increased. Uh, from 2006 to 2011, and they began to decrease gradually uh, until to, uh, 2006. Uh, large mortality gaps and inconsistent 
mortality change across uh, urban and rural areas, sex, age group, and provincial locations. Uh, pedestrians, pet cyclists, and most cyclists together constitute 74 percentage of traffic mortality from 2006 and to 2016. And the most common occupants suffering from traffic mortality was those in cars and in three wheeled most vehicles. Okay. Uh, what does the funding mean? So, this means the forces, the potential actions. We see, you know, uh, the most common, uh, the use of the most common, you know, transportation cars, uh, and uh, also different change patterns, including city and transport, uh, transport planning. Uh, so protective policy for vulnerable users and also, you know, the post-crash response just uh, means trauma system or pre-hospital uh, service and efforts to implement the infrastructure that prevents pedestrians from violating uh, traffic rules. So yesterday we talked a lot of between the behavior change and education and other, probably we need to think of how to protect the pedestrian from traffic crash. Also, legislation and law enforcement finished this afternoon at the last presentation, we talk about enforcement, how to best use enforcement to protect the root users. Also, so uh, we need to focus on emerging trends in road safety risks. Uh, recent transport innovation in China, uh, these things cannot be reflected uh, in our data because the you know the uh, national surveillance system cannot uh, separate them. For example, electric bicycles, e-bike and shared bicycles, especially you know, application-based shared bicycle. When you ride, you have to use a cell phone or others, you, you may receive calls or other distractions. Okay. And application-based tax handling service. So some drivers, when they drive, they at the same time use their cell phone to contact the customers and challenge the current traffic safety and regulations. So we are doing another research project to try to collect data to complete the national surveillance data. Okay. <coughs> Road traffic mortality in China decreased, uh, this is our final conclusion, uh, gradually and uh, from uh, 2011 through 2016, not early, started to decrease, likely as a result of combination of several uh, factors like the you know, prevention if, if efforts and also the transportation change. Uh, some people, some of foreign research has experienced the hi highway express train in China. So more and more people take express train we have a uh, statistics to see is the transfer between the road traffic, uh, so the, the passenger, the number of passengers and the traveled miles to express, express train. The recent decrease in China are not on track to achieve. So if we continue such a uh, decreasing uh, speed, we cannot achieve the goals as we expected. So that means we have to pay more efforts. A series of <laughs> prevent multi faceted in in interventions, interventions should be fully implemented across China, uh, but it's very hard to do that, especially in rural areas. Uh, this is the reference. And also I want to thank uh, all of us for uh, this paper. So the paper is under review. Uh, in Lancet Public Health. Uh, okay, thank you very much. <laughs>